In this Power World video, I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get and unlock every single blueprint in this game. Now, before we do any further, guys, I'm giving a couple of copies away for Power World, Xbox or PC. It doesn't matter if you win on Xbox, I'll buy you Game Pass for six months if you don't already have it. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on and I'll announce the winners at the end of this week, Sunday evening. So good luck everybody. Okay, so in regards to blueprints and unlocking things, it's mainly tied to your level. But once you actually reach a max level of 50, that's it in regards to those technology points you will earn here. You won't receive any more obviously because you've reached a max level. I got to a level 50 and barely scratched the surface in regards to unlocking every blueprint this game offers. And this is without the tons of saddles you also get and unlock upon you capturing those powers. I was left stranded, I'm not even going to lie, I didn't know what I was going to do. So how do you actually unlock more? Well guys, there are a couple of ways. The other way which is limited is unlocking all fast travel points. In doing this, you unlock one technology point per fast travel point you find and unlock. But again, here you are extremely limited. And there's not much help because at the end of the day, the higher leveled ones cost you five technology points each. So yeah. And then we have some of the higher leveled saddles also costing five each. I mean, there's a lot of technology points you will have to earn. But don't worry, I have you covered because I'll showcase you guys other ways which will lead you and allow you to unlock every blueprint in this game. And how to do this, how to unlock every blueprint in the game is by simply going out and finding the innovative or technical manuals. Now these come in a different rarities. The innovative are the blue ones and they give you two points per one you find. Now there are actually easy ways to get these two, which I will explain. Now I got a load of these quite easily and there were the difference that allowed me to actually ride my jet wagon. I mean by the time I got to a level 50 and I turned the jet wagon, I didn't have enough technology points to unlock the saddle. I was flying around looking for fast travel points but I'd already unlocked most of them so I didn't get any, any luck here. And then I figured this out guys, a way way easier way of doing this. So where do you get these technical manuals? Well there's actually a few different ways you can do this guys. Firstly higher level chests. Now what I mean by this is, yes, there's probably a chance you can get these to drop from any chest, which makes sense as there are different levels to them, but they are definitely more frequent drop wise uh, within those higher level chests. So what are higher level chests you may be wondering? Well guys, dungeon chests are that of a higher level. These count and these can drop you these technical manuals. Now early on in the game, I was running all the lower level ones uh, before I got to a level 50 and I was seeing many of these technical manuals drop. Uh, and I thought at the time that they ain't gonna be something I really need because I'll get enough points when I level up. How wrong was I? These are something you would definitely have to seek out if you plan on unlocking all blueprints. There's no two which ways about that. So early on, the best way to get these technical manuals is within those dungeons. Now, it doesn't matter what level that dungeon is, you can get these from the chests in said dungeons. Now, I don't mean any chest within a dungeon. I mean, there may be a chance that they can drop any of the, the chests, but I'm talking about the two chests you get after defeating the dungeon boss. So you defeat that low level dungeon boss or capture him. The two chests you get afterwards, just before the teleporter takes you out of the dungeon, these can drop these manuals. Now, in the lower level dungeons, these normally drop as a green uncommon rarity, uh, but in the higher ones, they normally drop as a rare rarity, the blue versions. Innovative technical manuals. These will give you two points per one you do, so that's pretty cool. But there's also a place on the map outside of dungeons where I was actually seeing myself getting quite a few of these. And it's from the chests right here on the map. And these chests you can farm, guys. Now, the area itself is a little hostile. I won't lie to you. But, I mean, you won't really need to do this anywhere until you reach that of around a max level. Or you need spare points just to buy something anyway, anywhere near leveling up. But this point right on the map right here, guys, top right. There's a few chests here, too, which will reset after a day's cycle. So you can farm these indefinitely. But I was just running around this area for a, a short while, uh, grabbing all the chests. And these chests can spawn in multiple uh, places. But yeah, these chests right up here, guys, can give you these manuals, which will give you those technology points, which are very, very important. But guys, there's probably even a better way 
of getting these and that is by capturing a certain pal. This pal upon you capturing it has a chance of dropping these. The pal is called the Lylene and it also spawns in within the same area. An awesome little trick you can do as well guys is like I said uh, the area top right of the map you definitely want to come here to be farming these an awesome little trick you can do uh, as so many powers can spawn up here so there's a small chance small odds of you getting to see that lilian every single time you do this uh, you can simply just circle around the area and the powers once you get out of that render distance will rotate into different powers meaning guys you can just do a circle lap over this entire area until you find lilians and take her down or even tame her and you have a chance of getting these two drop and what you could also do guys is you could breed lilines and butcher her and get these because if you butcher them there's a chance they will drop that certain loot that they offer now to breed her guys you need to put together a certain two pals they have to be the exact parents every time uh, this isn't a random pal you cannot breed this pal randomly you have to breed the two said pals together and the two pals you need to go out and get are they are the Morsanda and patelia now you can see these on screen right now of exactly where these are obtained so if you go out guys into the open world and capture male and female variants of these and then simply breed them together you can breed them together indefinitely in your base just leave them ticking over within that breeding pen grabbing the eggs between each interval storing the egg uh, hatching the egg and then just butchering the baby lilene i mean and then you're good to actually just farm these indefinitely guys and get an infinite number of these technical manuals so therefore guys you get all the technology points you whatever need allowing you to unlock every single blueprint this game offers and again guys yes i struggled at a higher level once i reached that level of a 50 i was looking through my blueprints thinking there's so many of these blueprints for me to actually try and get now and i'm thinking there's no way i'm actually gonna be able to unlock everything looking at my map my fast travels were more or less all unlocked probably got about five that i haven't done five is just one saddle in regards to that certain powers in this game and their saddles require between five and three points this isn't much if you think about it so yes people there we have it this is how you get an infinite amount of technology points to unlock all blueprints in the game it will take probably a bit of a grind but that's expected for sure another power you could actually breed and take advantage of for these points is anubis now anubis doesn't actually spawn in as a regular pal within the open world as far as i'm aware but you can find him as a world boss located right here on the map now this dude will be at level 47 so it will be difficult to catch but come prepared now it's best to bring those best spheres in the game obviously and hopefully luck is on your side here now anubis again uh, one of his possible drops is the innovative technical manual this again will give you those points so if you want to breed this dude over and over use that cleaver and do what you gotta do slaughter them man um there's a chance you can get them now to breed him guys there are many many different combinations to get this guy so it's probably easier than lily and i won't lie to you those combinations you can see on screen now we have penking and bushy quivern and chillit ragnarok and tombat kitson and german tide brown cherry and relaxosaurus Rusha and Suzuki Aqua, Salivate and Menesting and Jobfin and Suzuku. And there we have it, guys. So breed any of the following two pairs and it should guarantee you an Anubis baby. So yeah, breed any of them, get that Anubis baby and do what you gotta do to get those points, people. But yeah, guys, I hope this helps others out as again. It helped me out and I know people out there will get to the same position as me and think what am I going to do about technology points but there you have it. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more power wood be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.